Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. We are going to build an app that displays a system tray icon with some action menu and system notification. I have designed a simple user interface with input fields where we will be entering the notification title and body. If you're new to the channel please feel welcome, my name is Hamisi, and this is Spin TV. We will be making this tutorial using Python, PyQt, and PySide, so if you're not familiar with these libraries, then I highly recommend that you watch some of my previous videos, which will help you get started. Before we get started, if you are not subscribed please do so, also like and share this video to help this channel grow and reach more people. This is what we will achieve by the end of this video. Because this is not a GUI video, we will not be designing the user interface, but I will include it in the source code folder which I will leave the download link below. So this is the basic structure of the user interface. Let us save the user interface, then generate the Python code. So this is how our project folder looks like, we have the icons folder, a zip file, that also contains the icon files, the icons resource file for the user interface. and the user interface Python code we generated earlier. Now the next step is to create the main.py file. We won't be spending much time on activities that are not related to the system tray like importing the UI and creating the main class, but I will take you through what is going on in this code. First of all, we have to import the system, pyside2, and the interface file. I have also created a list of elements to which I will be applying shadows later. This is our main class and inside this class, we have initialized our window object. This statement removes the title bar of the window. This one sets the window's background transparent, and these statements apply shadow to the main window, or central widget which brings out the window raised effect. This is how you apply the window icon and set the window title. These statements add click event listeners to close and minimize the app window. I also added a function that moves the app window when a user clicks and drags on the header frame. Now this is the for loop that goes through our list and applies shadows to the elements in that list. This function returns the pointer position to the move window function.
Now let us execute our code and see how the app window looks like. We are getting this error because we have not converted our QRC resource file to a Python file. To solve this open the command line inside your project folder, then type in the following command. This how our app window looks like, everything is working fine. Now to the most important part of this video, building our system tray. First of all, we have to check if the current system supports the system tray functionality. If the function is not supported display a message then exit the app. No message was displayed, and our app is still running, so that means the system supports tray functionality. The next step is to prevent our app from completely exiting when the current active window is closed so that the tray icon will still be displayed on the system tray. Now let us create the queue system tray which we will link to a variable which we will call tray. The queue system tray function takes two arguments which are the icon and the pi side qt core object. Our tray icon is not displaying. To display it, we have to add tray.show. As you can see the tray icon is still being displayed even after closing our app window, meaning the app did not exit completely. Because we have not yet added a function that exits the app, we will be doing that manually using the task manager, then later we will add the exit function. Now we will make a queue menu object which we will add to the tray icon. Inside this menu, we will add some action buttons, which when triggered will run some functions. Let us add the message box action, which when clicked will run a function that displays a message box. The menu is not showing because we have not added it to the tray icon. You can add the queue menu by calling tray.addContextMenu then pass the menu object. Now let us create the show message function which will run when we click on show message action. Thank you. 
Next, we will add an action that calls a function that will display the notification on the system tray. Let us create the function to display the notification. This function takes the window object and the tray object. We have already defined the tray object so now let us create a window object. We will create a global variable that holds the window object, then inside the main class, we will assign it the user interface main window class. There are probably other better ways of doing this so play around with the code and see what you come up with. We will use the window object we pass to our function to get the input field values from the app interface. We will check if the field values are empty, then display the notification message, if they are not empty, then we will use these values as notification title and message. The tray notification message function takes three arguments which are the notification title, message, icon, and duration. Some systems might ignore the duration property. Now let us add hide and show actions, which when triggered will hide or show the app window. The final action we will add is the exit action which will completely close our app when triggered.
Now let us add trigger events to the show and hide action buttons. We also need to add a click event listener to the show message button, which when clicked should display the tray notification. We can also add a click event listener to the tray notification to display a message box when clicked. Although this might not work on some Linux systems like mine, it works fine on Windows machines. Finally, we can add a tooltip text to the tray icon and end it there. That's all guys for this tutorial, the source code is available for free on my Patreon page, check the download link below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.